we're in your solutions packet still, an electrolyte. An electrolyte is an ionic substance or salt, acid, or base in solution. Um, the other part is dissociates. We've been hearing that word a lot lately. Dissociates into positive and negative ions. An example is NaCl when it goes into water becomes an A positive and Cl minus. Okay, a non-electrolyte would be a covalent substance or a molecule. In solution. Big difference here. Does not dissociate. And because it does not dissociate, it does not conduct electricity. Opposed to an electrolyte, by definition, does. Here's an example. When we put sugar, glucose, into water, it stays exactly as is. The compound does not change. Now, a behavior that we need to know ionic solutes increase the boiling point and lower the freezing point of a solvent more than a non electrolyte at equal concentrations due to the dissociation of substances. Please star that. When ionic substances dissolve, they break up into more particles than substances that do not split. The more particles, the greater the effect. Very important. An example of that is on the next page. An ionic substance. When we start with NaCl, it breaks up into Na and Cl. This is all balanced. We end up with two particles. Those two particles are right here. CaCl2, when we break it up, we get one calcium and two chlorines. We end up with three. How we get three is that one plus two. We're looking at those moles right there. Equals three. Now covalent doesn't break up. So it's one particle. Because of this, Cla, Cl2 will have the greatest effect because it has three particles. has the largest number of particles.